Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So if you're keeping up with me in these poster series, we have made a new image, added a background, masked out the sky, and replaced the sky. Now what we want to do is make it so the sky better conforms to the colors of the image itself. Basically, we want everything to match. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to select the sky and we're going to image, adjustments, and we're going to change things. Now one thing I wanted to show you here is that you get a couple of options right here. Auto contrast and auto color. Let's go ahead and click that and see what happens. That's not so bad, but that's not what I want. So we're going to undo that and we're going to image adjustments and we're going to try a few of these different options to help us. We're going to start with brightness and contrast. We're going to try and match the contrast a little bit. That looks pretty good. And now we're going to go to color balance and we're going to mess with this a little bit. Now generally the background that I have for the road is yellow, so that's why I'm enhancing the yellows, adding a little bit of green as well as a little bit of red, and that seems to match up pretty well. Now you notice that I've only done mid-tones. Feel free to experiment with highlights and shadows, but for now I'm okay with it. it. Looks like it matches up pretty well. But let's try a couple other things to see if we can match it better. Press OK. Go to Image, Adjustments, and we're going to go to Hue and Saturation. change the hue around to create all kinds of interesting effects but we don't want to get too far out there you can also change the lightness which is totally off so we're gonna try and match it up the main thing I'm trying to match up is these mountains right here where the lights coming from with this sky the light source is obviously a little different for each but they're close enough so I'm trying to match them up as best as I can press OK now let's go to image adjustments and curves and see if we can't make a couple of changes to the curves here so we can get them to match better That's pretty good, but I still want to experiment a little bit more to get it to match better. We're going to go back to image, color balance, and push up those yellows again. Now it's getting a lot closer. I like that a lot. Let's just change the contrast a little bit. That's pretty awesome, I like that a lot. Now the one last thing that we have to do is that this part of the image, these mountains won't really cooperate with the rest of the sky. The reason why this was is that the haze in the background from the original sky made it so it was reflecting and creating this kind of bluish area. Well, this sky would not do that. So we wanna try and match this and I'm gonna go over that using the marquee tools in the next video.